stepmom kicked little girl out of the house while dad was away. But years later, she's surprised to see her. Stepmother kicked the girl out of the house while her dad was away. Pay attention to what she went through years later. Alicia was a woman from India who married a younger man. She took advantage of his absence to throw Crane, her stepdaughter, out into the street. She said that the girl had left with a boyfriend, and when they met years later, she paid dearly for that lie. Azur was a man of humble roots. He had grown up in the country next to his parents. The father owned a huge property, but the man made several mistakes that led him to lose all his land, which were acquired by a millionaire Arab whose mission was to raise cattle. But the man did not know the beliefs and traditions of India. When the new owner arrived, Azur was 16 years old and asked him for a job and a place to live because his family family had been left with nothing. The man asked him how much he knew about cattle, and the boy immediately said, what do you have in mind with those cattle? Look, I want to export beef and leather to my country. The man had not finished speaking when the boy interrupted him and told him that if he did not know, cows are sacred in India. Therefore, that investment that he planned to make would be fruitless. The man was surprised that his counselor had told him that, but he didn't believe him. At that time, he began to investigate and realized that in India, the cow population is approximately 150 million and that Indian families develop loving relationships with cows, and they are part of the daily life of each one of them. Almost all Indian cities, especially those located in the center and north of the country, the so-called Hindu Belt, have seen how streets, roads, and crop fields have been invaded by thousands of old, weak, and sick cows. The animals are abandoned by farmers who no longer want to keep them and wander alone or in herds, stuffing themselves with garbage and plastic and raiding street restaurants. It was thanks to this that the man changed the direction of the investment that he planned to make, and he saw an excellent alternative in the export of water buffalo meat. Because India exports large quantities of meat from this species, a member of the bovine family classified as beef, the millionaire gave Azure a job as manager of his land where they grew rice, and there he met a beautiful young woman whom he married. The young woman was an expert in rice field work, and after a short courtship, they got married. Both were barely 18 years old and settled in the house that he had as administrator. His father, after losing the land, and decided to make his fortune, but his mother had stayed by his side. The mother-in-law and daughter-in-law got along great, so they made a good team. The lady assisted the young woman in childbirth when she gave birth to Crane. The Hindu girl was growing up, respecting the customs of her people, and she was very obedient. Her parents and her grandmother were very proud of her. The girl went to a community school and stood out for her intelligence. When she turned seven, she had a little party at school, but her mom never came with the drinks. And what would be joy ended in tears. When Azure got to her, it means that his wife had been run over and she was seriously ill. The young mother spent a month in intensive care, fighting for her life, until her heart couldn't take it anymore and she collapsed. Mourning frustrated that beautiful family and what they were, and Crane was left under the care of her grandmother while her father worked so they didn't lack anything. Faced with this tragedy, the rich Arab decided to give Azure the deed that accredited him as the owner of the plot in which he lived. That news was a cloth to mitigate the sadness that overwhelmed them. The months went by, and little by little, it seemed that Azure was forgetting about his wife. And a full year after her passing, he came home with Alicia to introduce her as his new partner. The girl did not get used to the idea that they would replace her mother in her house, and she started to get rebellious. But her grandmother placated her and told her that her father was young and needed to rebuild his life. The little girl had no choice but to respect her father's decision, and she hardly spoke to the woman, who constantly complained to him about her because she did everything possible to get along with Crane, but the girl seemed like an impenetrable wall. However, the stepmother did not actually reach out to the girl. Rather, when they were alone, she treated her badly and called her a nuisance, and that she would be thankful that she could no longer have children because of her advanced age, because she knew that with another child at home, Azure would forget about her. The girl cried and was silent. She didn't say anything to her father because the woman threatened to make Azure angry. The man's mother intervened, but the woman was cruel. She treated them both badly. Four years later, Azure's mother suffered a stroke and lost her speech. 
The girl was even more lonely, and Alicia took advantage to exploit her, putting her to work hard. One afternoon, Azure arrived early because he was going to travel to the other end of the country where his boss had bought some land and he wanted him to start working on it. Crane asked him to take her with him, but the man told her that it was impossible. Alicia prepared her husband's clothes. She prepared food for him on the way, and when she finished, they said goodbye to him, and he asked her to please take care of Crane and his mother. The woman promised him that she would do it and asked him to remember them all the time. Azure left with other workers, and in the house, everything seemed normal. However, two days later, the woman got up early and entered Crane's room. She grabbed her hair and forcefully woke her up. Crane yelled, and her grandmother was alerted, but she couldn't do anything for her. Alicia insulted her beyond measure and told Crane that she was only a burden on her and her father. She gave her a bag with a change of clothes. She grabbed her arm and pulled her out of the house. As the girl stayed on the ground crying, the woman kicked her and then, with a stick, forced her to walk. The girl was scared, especially when the stepmother threatened her, saying that if she saw her again, she would feed her in trails to her pigs. Seeing the hate with which Alicia uttered those words, a horrified crane fled. The barely 13-year-old girl walked non-stop. Her feet were blistered, and she couldn't take it anymore. Some neighbors saw her and wanted to help her, but she only said that she had to go. When her father Azure returned, Alicia told him that Crane was a bad daughter and that she had run away from home with a teenage boy who was her boyfriend. At first, the man raged at his daughter, but when his neighbors told him that she had left alone and that she was beaten, the man doubted the story that his wife told him and searched tirelessly for her, but he never found her. Without hope, Azure became a bitter man, for he was sure that he would never see his only daughter again. But 15 years later, life took care of bringing them together again. The Arab owner of those lands died, and a week later, one of his sons looked for Azure and told him that his family was not interested in continuing with that business and that they were going to sell the land, so everyone would be unemployed. The humble man was concerned with that news, and a month later, he found out that there was already a new owner of the land and that he would take his trusted men. Azure and his wife went to beg the new owner not to put them out of work, but great was their fright when they arrived at a beautiful mansion and they saw that the new heiress owner was his daughter, Crane. It turned out that a millionaire man had found Crane lost and had taken her to his house. Upon learning her story, he told her that one day they would do justice. The girl stayed to live with that family, and finally she was the heiress of the Good Samaritan. Seeing Azure, the beautiful Crane wept and hugged her father, but she kicked her stepmother out, saying she couldn't forgive her because she traumatized her by telling her that if she ever saw her again, she would be pig food. Crane told her father the truth, and he immediately told Alicia that he wanted nothing to do with her and asked for a divorce from her. Crane and her father lived happily together. Both visited the grave of her mother and her grandmother, who died from the pain of never seeing her only granddaughter again. Alicia, from that moment on, was left with nothing, and she had no choice but to beg on the street for having such a bad heart. Well, friends, this is the end of this incredible story. We hope, as always, it has been to your liking. If you liked it, give us a like, leave us your valuable comment, share on your social networks, subscribe to our channel, and activate the notification bell so that you are always notified when we have a new video and in this way, you do not miss any of our stories. For now, we only have to invite you to join us in the next one.